Oh, is this that guy? Oh, that looks good. Hey, what do you think the chances of you staying calm are? So, so. Hi! <laughs> this is... Oh. We had Eleanor. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> we got our baby. This is... This is the story of Eleanor and the delivery. Hi, I know. Of uh, this little one. Oh, hello. Should we just... Just get into get it. Get into it? So, here, let me give it a little more, like... Do you remember in October, we posted the, the pregnancy announcement video? And in that video, we said her due date, which was April 6th. And in that video, we also said she can't, can't come, come on April 6th. Because I had a wedding on April 6th. Booked far in advance of us finding out that she was coming on April 6th. Our doctor said the chances of a mom delivering on her due date are 3%. That's pretty good. Like, I was like, oh, I feel fine. I'll get a backup, someone in place, just in case. I was but, really nervous. But, like, what are the odds? 3%. 3%. That's the odds. Well, so we're the 3%. <laughs> yeah. So, April... April 5th. April 5th. I woke up and, like, my stomach was constantly hard. I like wasn't... contracting, like it, it was like her abs were like, Arr! I mean abs, like your belly was like all day long. I called like the nurses and they said to go down, but I wasn't in pain. So I hung out all day. I did a puzzle. I got my nails done, sat in the bath. Pretty... I didn't think. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So all day Friday, her stomach is contracting. And what did I, what did I do Friday night? Did I have an event Friday night or something? No, so we decided we were going to go out to dinner Friday night. So we both got like showered that's and right. all dressed up. Yeah, um, that's why we were dressed up. And he was working on his Yeah, video, all the, the, last, the last, the two videos, the unicorn video. So I made the first one and then I posted it Friday morning. And Friday I was down in the basement after dinner making the second one. I was filming, oh, the, the edit video, yeah. the music edit video. I was filming that video and she texts me, come upstairs. And it was like, no, no, no punctuation, function. no anything. And I was like, oh. oh no. I just, like, I felt off. Like something was weird. Um, so we're all cuddling in bed and Zoe's in between us. And then all of a sudden I heard a pop. And like. Like it, like I heard the pop. Like it was like a weird. And I don't know if that was her kicking. Like, she we, kicked me, but my water broke. That's also like only 20% of women actually have their water break. Yeah, so another odds breaker. Which I'm glad, cause it was like, oh, like it's real, it's happening. Yeah, yeah, we knew it was go time. It wasn't, it wasn't like ambiguous at all. It was like, oh, we gotta go to the hospital, like now. It is 10-10 on August 5th, and we're pretty sure- <laughs> August. <laughs> August, April 5th, and uh, we're pretty sure Morgan's water broke. Whew. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. I'm like getting sweaty because I'm nervous. Hi, sweet girl. I think she knows too. Yeah, she's like, you guys go get me a sister, all right? Go get me a damn sister. Right away, like my contractions were three to four minutes apart. Already painful. Like it started right as my water broke. Yeah. Um, and that's how I knew. I was like, oh, this is what my doctor meant when she said it's going to be painful. Yeah, you're going to know. Hurt. They hurt? Yeah. And if that's the right time, that was two minutes. But it's a small one. Ten thirty ish, we take off at the hospital. Grabbing Ellie's diaper bag. Next time next time we come back to this room, she's gonna be here with us. Weird. You look good. Good one. Hello. Hello. So is Zoe come to play? Zoe is coming to play. How is um, Zoe's mom? <laughs> I really, I mean, I told you I've been really uncomfortable all day. Right. And we were laying in bed and all of a sudden something popped. Oh. 
and it was either my water or she got me really good in the J. Oh, they're every three minutes. Okay. Pretty yeah. good. Baby girl, are you about ready to meet your baby girl? Ooh. How exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. So thrilled. Oh, man. She knew wasn't supposed it's, to come today. You know what? It's okay. You know what? Get there at 11. We get there at 11. Morgan's mom and stepdad meet us at the hospital so they can pick up Zoe. Zoe. We go into triage at probably 11. Yeah, it was like 11 o'clock. Yeah. We get in and... She checks to see if I'm dilated. Um, and as she is, my water, another gush of water comes out. So she's like, oh yeah, you're in labor. Your water for sure broke. And you're three centimeters. And she told us that she had a full head of hair. She said she could feel hair. Yeah. Feels like she's got some hair too. Oh, 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 oh yeah, <laughs> hair. Oh my gosh. That's all becoming a lot more real. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We were like, what? Yeah. So like both of us were like, oh my gosh, it's go time. Holy crap. There's a really funny clip that I filmed. Really? And it's me. I wanted to have a lot of profound things to say. And this happens to me a lot actually because when I proposed to Morgan, I had all these ideas of grandeur that I was gonna say these amazing things. And then as soon as I got down on a knee, I was just like, uh, and, it, <laughs> and my mind just went blank. It totally happened at the hospital too. And I filmed myself like telling Ellie that I'm sorry, I don't have something better to say. <laughs> and that's you terrible. did? Yeah. Aww. I was just, I was. Are you nervous right now? Yeah, I'm like nervous clammy. talking about it. It was very exciting. Right away they asked, like, okay, we're gonna send you upstairs. Do you want an epidural? I do want an epidural. Yeah, we knew it. Right so away. they knew right away when I was at three centimeters. As soon as we got upstairs, I wanted it. We got admitted upstairs at midnight. No, at 11.30. It was? Yeah, so we, we got upstairs at 11.30 because that's when, that's when your contractions like really kicked in, I felt like. Yeah. Like it, it took half an hour for us to go from triage get you through, get upstairs, maybe like a little longer, but yeah. we were upstairs by about like 11.30, 11.45. Here we go, girl. We love her. And then your contractions got bad. Really bad. Um, yeah, and they were really close together. I had like maybe 30 seconds. Maybe. In between each, like, to be like. <gasps> so the epidural that she's waiting on, and we said like right away, we're going, yeah, let's do this. The anesthesiologist, it's Friday night, by the way. Right, weekend night. Weekend, yeah, there's one guy on, and he's in surgery, doing a C-section for somebody else. And they and, just like they had just started, they must have. Mm -hmm. And there's a line of women in front of her to get their epidural before she does. So I have to wait, and that was probably the worst. Two hours. Yeah. Two hours of like these insane contractions. Do you want? Do you want to put a clip in of you having one of the contractions? Because I have it. <laughs> yeah, you can. I have one where you're like, ah! Really? It doesn't show anything, but you're you're not feeling good. Yeah, you can show it. All it's right. Fine. <laughs> Let's just say it was the worst pain I've ever endured. It's not that I was not expecting it. I didn't know what to expect, but it was crazy. That two hours was raw. So the nurse was like, you, she was giving me just a job, something to do. Cause I was just like, uh, you're okay, honey. You're okay. And then at one point she was like, stop talking. <laughs> so the nurse is like, push on her back and that'll help, like like push. She was having some back like counter pressure. Also. Yeah. So it was a mix of like the front pain and back pain. And then at one point, <laughs> Morgan's having this like horrible contraction, like I'm holding onto ah! the bed. And then she goes whack and slaps my hand and is like, "Don't touch me!" <laughs> and then it lets up for like two seconds. And she's like, ah, ah. and then another one hits and she goes. Ah! 
and then looks up at me and goes, do something. And I was, I was helpless. I was like, ah, and I just went back to pushing on her back because I didn't, I didn't have anything else to do. 11.30 to 1.30, you had contractions. 1.30 a.m., this guy like flies in with his little epidural cart. Make They make me sit on the other side of the room and he slings this thing in her. So fast. So fast. He was my best friend. As soon as it hit, Morgan went from being this like, ah, to going, ah. Oh. I was like the Hulk and then mm. turned and, into a princess. <laughs> and you were smiling <laughs> and you were like all of a sudden happy and I'm sitting there in the chair with a little mask on just going like, Oh, There's so my good, wife. yes. The nurse said, I'm gonna check you guys. Oh, by the way, I was seven centimeters. Yeah, by the time the epidural hit, so in that two hours from 11.30 to 1.30, she went from three centimeters to seven centimeters. Yeah. That's intense. That's why it was so painful. The nurse says, I'm gonna give you guys like three hours sleep. You're gonna need it. I'm gonna wake you up at five and then we'll check. But if you feel any constant pressure, let me know. 5 a.m. comes. The nurse is back in there checking on us. I, I open my eyes to Morgan going, you know, I, I'm really, I'm feeling pretty constant pressure. I was like, I, it just feels like she's right there. It says you said that in the video too. Yeah. That's what you like, said. I think she's just like right there. Like I can tell that she's ready to come out. So I stand up, the nurse, Come, stands up from her little station. We both look, and and Ellie's like, like this she's, of her head. She's crowning, <laughs> and the nurse goes, "Oh, okay, close your legs. Uh, let's call the doctor." <laughs> do not push. Don't push. Just don't relax. do anything. Just relax. She runs over, calls the doctor. It takes the doctor like six or seven minutes to get in there. Yeah, he didn't have his pager, so they're calling. Yeah. On the yeah, they get him in, but they're getting me ready in the meantime too. And the doctor walks in at 5, 12, and 30 seconds. That's, you that's looked it up? yeah, I looked at the time thing. So at 5, 12, 5, 13 ish, the doctor walks in the room and he had this, he had this awesome Cuban accent. So he was like, hey, okay, here we go. <laughs> and he had a big smile. Yeah, he was super fun. We loved our doctor. As soon as he like gets his little boot things on, puts a mask down, on. He sits down like right away and he's like, you're having a contraction. Start right away. Push. I feel like we should just play it. Yeah. Here is Morgan's entire delivery from when you hear the doctor say, hello, like he's there. No more bed. I'll let you go back first. Oh my God. Okay, oh, I just need you to lift up right, and come down a little. Just go down here. Yeah. There you go. Oh, You're having a contraction, so. Yes. Oh my go god. Ahead and push. Oh my god, you baby. Take a deep breath in. Curl hold up it on your belly, down. down to your chest. No, don't let it down. Up. You gotta hold it and push. You gotta hold that breath in while you're pushing. And push down. And bear down. Bottom, okay? Push more. Push, push. Because if you're having a bad moment, push, 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 push. Harder, 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 harder. And breathe. And take a big breath. Hold it and push again. Hold on, hard. Grab behind your thighs. Grab behind your thighs will give you a little leverage. Both, both, both. Pull them towards you and push. All the way, 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 all the way. Push, push, push. You're doing push, awesome, more, baby. More, 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 more. Oh my god. Got a big breath. Give me one more push. Big one. There you go. There you go. That was it. Oh my god, baby. Just quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the entire delivery from from first push to Ellie being out 
and uh, and on her stomach. Yeah. That was it. That was the whole thing, and it was really surreal. It was. I mean, it's I didn't even talk during it. No. I like looked back through, and I I just I think I just said like, oh my god, oh my Neither god, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, we're just like, what the heck? What? And it's. It was not what we expected. No, because like we were expecting this long delivery. We've heard all these stories, and yeah. all of a sudden it's just like, "Here's your baby." Oh, what? what? <laughs> like, what do you mean? It was crazy. Yeah, it. The best moment. When she when she first made that little, and you look up at me, and you're like, oh. <laughs> it was yeah. like the first time you heard her. You're like, oh. it's my favorite. Yeah. It's just. There's nothing that can compare to. It was pretty that crazy. Moment. That was a yeah. I don't I don't know that uh, you beat that for our second or third or fourth or fifth sixth kids who are watching this later far down the road. I'm sorry. She probably beat you for that moment being like the coolest. Like they'll still be cool, but not, not your that first, cool. That was first cool. cool. And then then the rest of the morning was like. It was friends and family coming in. But it was about nine o'clock when you when it was just us left. Like, did everyone leave by nine? Like nine thirty. Like nine thirty, yeah. Nine thirty ten, um, and and I had this wedding. Had the wedding on April sixth. On so. April sixth at two p.m. in Carlsbad, like right next to our house, and and Morgan goes, "You should just go do this wedding. Like we're chilling. We're." Everything went so smoothly. We're like relaxed. I feel good. Everyone had already We're come good. and seen us. Everyone left. We're kind of just hanging out. Family's gonna come back later to, to hang out with Morgan. And, uh, and Morgan's like, you should just go do it. So, so I did. He went and shot a wedding the day that went and his daughter shot, was born. Yeah. There's nothing that you could have done that day, so. No, it was just hanging around anyways. Yeah. So I went and shot the wedding. It was awesome. Sydney and Kevin, amazing wedding. Like. That was, it was really good. And it went awesome. It was like, it was the perfect wedding to shoot the day that my daughter was born. Because first off, Sydney and Kevin are like the sweetest people in the world. I told them during first look, cause they were like, how's, how are things and stuff. Like, oh, your wife's pregnant. And I was like, She's not anymore. I've got to tell you guys, <laughs> I'm never going to forget your wedding day. My daughter was born this morning <laughs> and they cried and I cried. And yeah, it was awesome. It was amazing. Uh, so yeah, I went and shot the wedding. I was back by 11 o'clock. I am back at the hospital. It is 11 p.m. I uh, I took off here earlier. Went and shot Sydney and Kevin's wedding. It was incredible. And uh, I'm back for my girls so I can crash out next to them while they sleep. And I hopefully sleep. And hopefully we all sleep. And we had our first night together. Yeah, the three of us. And we got to come home the next morning. Yeah, we peaced out pretty quick. <laughs> We're leaving the hospital. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. How did you make that? Little Eleanor is going home from the hospital. Oh. 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 
Oh, that. What do you think? Two weeks. How's the first two weeks been? Been the best two weeks of my life. It's been really good. It's I, also gone pretty smoothly. It's gone really smoothly. I don't think there's anything else in this world that I feel more confident than being a mom. Oh, that's really cute too, dude. It's like, that's... You're so sappy today. Quit being so sappy. I don't know, I just had a baby. All the hormones. <laughs> She's been really good. She's been great. Um, She's super sweet. Pretty much just eats and sleeps. She's super boring. We watch her like a campfire. Yeah, we stare mm -hmm. at her. It's about, that's what's weird, like that's it at this point. I, I wish there was more of like an update on like, oh, she does this and. She will, baby. She's gonna yeah. change so fast. She just doesn't do much yet. What's been the hardest thing this two weeks? Probably just freaking out, like checking if she's breathing all the time. Yes. The we first check if she's nights, breathing constantly. We're the, like. I'm getting really I, comfortable now. You're getting better. First few nights, I didn't sleep because I constantly like would check in and like put my hand on her. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes during the day, I'll be looking at her and like she just doesn't look like she's moving. So I'll kind of, kind of poke her mm -hmm. and get her to kind of be like, <laughs> oh God, okay. she's good, she's good. That's, I mean, that's the hardest part is being like, she's breathing, right? Yeah, I think that's it for now. That's, there'll probably be more, once she's like crawling and doing stuff, we'll make more videos. She's but, gonna go on her first vacation. Yeah, she's going to Cincinnati in June, so two months, she'll be in Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, but for now, that's that's it. We just wanted to kind of share how our, she got here. Our birth story. Yeah, birth story, done, dope. Woo! Oh my gosh, babe, none of it was recording. Shoot. Oh, you're so funny. Nah. <laughs> I wish I had better things to say. I know one day Ellie's gonna watch this and be like, Dad, you couldn't use your mouth. You couldn't even say words. <sighs> I'm very overwhelmed right now. Ellie, I am so excited to meet you. Yeah.